Now let's have it up, head over to Mark in the Beko Kitchen to welcome Chef Paul Yen as we continue to celebrate Taiwanese cooking. Morning, Paul. Morning, Mark. Morning. Hey. Morning. Jabamwe. Jabamwe. <laughs> now, what are we cooking today? I'm really excited to see what we're in store for because this week has just been a taste sensation so far. Paul, what are we doing? So we're doing a Taiwanese chicken um, and it's got um, using chicken thigh and um, a bit of basil. Yep. Um, to finish it off. And Paul, you're from yeah. Taiwan yourself? Yes, I am. Oh, fantastic. So you yep. know a thing or two. In fact, you're the expert and Mark can just stand over there and stir and drink his coffee. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing how this all comes together a little later in the show and find out more about the Kaohsiung region in Taiwan as well. And it's great to have you with us in the Beko Kitchen for our third recipe from the incredible country of Taiwan. This morning we are joined by Chef Paul and my taste buds are already salivating with some of the stuff we've got here in front of us, Paul. Um, so, first of all, you are from Taiwan. Tell us about where, whereabouts in Taiwan you're from and, and what's great about, about that area. Um, so, I come from Taoyuan, mm -hmm. so that's um, just below ta um, Taipei, the capital city. And, um, yeah, um, I grew up over there and it's a fantastic area. That's where the international airport is. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, today's dish. Tell us more about it. So today I have um, one of our very popular dish, which is a Taiwanese um, chicken. So it's uh, cooked with um, black sesame oil, okay, and um, basil. Yep. Which so have you seen this yeah. before? Black sesame oil. I love sesame oil. What's different about the black stuff? Is it? A, it's a different flavour, or it's just yeah. Yeah. So it's, so it's made from the black sesame seeds, and it's yep. a lot deeper flavour because this yep. is new to me as well. Wow. So, nice. I never knew you could get this, but then if, even if you just smell it, it's. Um, it's fantastic, so you should yeah, oh, really yeah. try it. Well, I feel like I could drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't. They're pretty good. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I'm going to move around so you can access the pan. Okay. I'm cooking today. Sure. Yeah, Ooh. We go. Right, so, so we're going to start with well, the. So we've got a bit of oil. Sesame oil. So this is a black yep. sesame seed um, oil, and then we're going to cook. We're going to warm it up in the wok. So a nice amount in there. So it's all about building flavours now. Yep. So we're going to stir fry the ginger Great. and then garlic as well. And Fantastic. really get that flavour into the oil. Now, um, Paul, you are off mm -hmm. to something pretty big in Luxembourg. What's coming up for you? Um, for me, I will be competing in the Culinary World Cup yep. um, on fruit and vegetable carving. And Chef Jeff Wu has been kind of tutoring you through this, hasn't you? And you can see behind us today, there Absolutely. are some pretty incredible carvings going on. You've done an amazing Thank job you. of the uh, taro carving of Mel. Nice to see that. Oh, also, yep. there's some great watermelon. And uh, uh, Jeff was saying it, it's taking, it took two hours to do just one watermelon. Like, it's pretty involved, right? Um, for the watermelon, the one at the back, it'll probably take him about oh, wow. two, two hours. Two and hours. Then, I mean, there's the taro sculpture at the yeah. behind us over here. That took him about... Yep. A week. See, my problem is I just <coughs> chop it in half and it, cook it and eat it. Right, I've got no patience. <laughs> okay, back to the cooking. What are we doing? Sure. So now, first of all, we're sautéing the um, <coughs> the ginger yep. so that um, the flavour gets released right into with the uh, black sesame oil. Cool. Are we going to take the ginger out after or are we going to no. leave this in? We're going to no. leave this Leaving in. Leaving the ginger yep. in? Great. So what? we're going to cook until the point where the edges of that ginger start to look a little bit dry. Yep. Um, that's when we kind of know that um, the flavour from the ginger has already been released into the oil. Then we'll be adding in the garlic over here. Mm. I'm going to leave the garlic whole, are we? Yes, we are. Brilliant. So leaving the garlic whole just so that um, it doesn't burn so quickly. What do you love about Taiwanese food? What, what do you really think sets it apart? I think it's very easy mm -hmm. um, and it's for flavour. Yeah. Um, a lot of love. street food. Yeah, yeah, the street food is, is great too. And I think Correct. so far what I've seen, I feel like I could do it. It's not massively involved. You say it's easy and you're giving us some really great tips too. Like we, we need to cook the ginger until it gets to this point, which, you yes. know, some recipes take a week and then you go, I've given up, I've drank half a bottle of red wine and I can't be bothered anymore. <laughs> Whereas this seems pretty simple. Yep, that's it. That's what we love. So the other ingredients here, we've got the ginger going on, you've cut those onions, yep. garlic has just gone in. Yep, great. So now um, we have the chicken thigh over here. Yep. Now um, we can do it with bone or without. Right. Um, it's completely up to you. Now we've got the soy sauce paste, soy yep. sauce, um, sugar, white pepper and our rice wine over here and our chilli spring onion. Fantastic, I cannot wait to see how they all come together. How's it looking Mark? Beautiful and smelling great, you can smell that. And look oh. at that, look at that texture in there. Garlic and ginger, hello. We've got that garlic, we've got the ginger in the pan, what's next? That's great, so now we can add in the chicken. 
And so we've ta have you taken the bones out for that one? Because you said it could be either or, you've, you've yep. left them in today. So, so I have right. um, already taken the bone now. Fantastic. That yep. means I can inhale it faster when it gets onto the plate. Yep. So we'll get that a gentle oh. around. Don't we love a good sizzle? Yeah. You know, and this is how fast this cooking is. It's all, yeah. it's all about preparation. Sugar. So that's just your standard white sugar? Yep, that's the custard sugar to give yep. it a oh, little bit of caramelisation. Nice. So we really want to caramelise the sugar, so get, get a caramel going. And that's going that's to add flavour to the sauce then, is it? That's correct. Again, some of my favourite words, caramelisation. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So what else have you got here? Just remind us some of these ingredients, Paul. So this over here is um, soy sauce um, paste. Yep. Um, so basically it's just soy sauce um, thickened with um, cornstarch. However, if you don't have um, soy sauce paste, um, you can use oyster sauce instead. Oh, excellent. Yep. It's always nice to know there are those options because I think sometimes people panic, oh, I haven't got that, but mm. you know, give us some really good options for what we can do if we don't have it. Absolutely. Yeah, um, a big pinch of the pepper. So the pepper's going Beautiful. in there. Beautiful. Awesome. We like to keep Mark busy. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, yeah, good, thank you, Mark. <laughs> Is he doing all right? Is he stacking it's up? Getting out how Mike feels. <laughs> getting bossed around. <laughs> Sarah, don't burn it. It's like, oh, it's a lot of pressure over here. So, how long do we wait until we put the uh, the um, mixed ingredients in? So you can see the sugar's sort of, you know, just starting to sort of caramelise. It's got a really sort of a, a getting a light amber colour. Mm. So take it a little bit further. Yep. So obviously, the further you take it, the more flavour you're going to get from it. But don't burn That's it. it. That's it. No, and that's probably something I would do, to be fair, because I get very easily distracted. <laughs> so, eyes on the prize when it comes to this recipe. Oh, it is smelling really, really good. Mark, have you done much Taiwanese cooking? Uh, no, no, actually, no. But it's been great, you know, the, the recipe is what we've done now, and, and, you know, seeing the ethos of the recipes and, and how easy it is, it's... I'm just gonna, that's all I'm going to cook now. Yeah, it'll be Taiwanese for the next six months here Definitely, on the definitely, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, all those classic flavours, uh, you know, the sesame oils, the soys, the chilies, yeah. the freshness, it's just, um, you know, I mean, I, I love food like that, you know, it's really, it's really good, you know, we love to eat, eat like that at home, so it's going to be fantastic. Paul, I'm curious, are different regions in Taiwan known for different styles of food? Slightly different. I mean, when we kind of look at the south part of it, like it's a lot more in seafood yeah. kind of area. I um, imagine it's a lot more diverse than New Zealand West Southland. You've got a cheese roll, mm. a bit of crayfish in Kaikoura, then you might have some seafood in Auckland. We keep it pretty insular. Um, but this, this is... This I'm is a some very complaints about that. I know I will. <laughs> um, sorry, t tell us more about this. It's starting to look really golden. Um, so this chicken dish, it's a very common household dish in Taiwan. Um, so, I mean, which part, which region it belongs to? I think every, every sing, yeah. everywhere you can find this dish. So this could be, this would potentially be a midweek meal for a family yeah, in Taiwan. They'd absolutely. Come home and, and, but what would you serve it with? Um, just plain rice, steamed right. rice. Yeah. Yeah. And is there a culture of, you know, the kids getting in the kitchen? Uh, is it still very much mum does the cooking or, or is it broader than that, do you know? Um, I think it's still mum doing all the cooking. Right. Yeah. yeah. Poor mum yeah. needs to put her feet up every once in a while. <laughs> That's why we yeah. have Mark here. Yeah. Poor Mark. <laughs> <laughs> so we're okay. just going to leave that um, to let the juice, uh, the sauce reduce down till it become um, thickened. So nice and thick, nice and yep. shiny. So even yep. reduce it a little bit further. Absolutely. And then once the sauce is thickened, and then we've got a few more ingredients. Um, then we're going to be adding in the rice, um, adding in the rice wine. Actually, we can add in it now. Throw that so what exactly does that do? It's just adding more flavour, or yep. adding a little bit more flavour into right. it. Yeah. And then balance, balancing out all the, sort of the saltiness as well, isn't it? So yeah. Freshen it up. Correct. And then yep. you've got a, so, so this is so going to go right at the end. Yep, this is right okay. at the end, mixing in the chilli, spring onion and the basil. Reason why we add the chilli right in the, the end, so it doesn't get too spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the little red chilies, which are, oh, they <laughs> already be very spicy. They make their presence felt. True. <laughs> Oh, we're so very much looking forward to seeing this all come together because, as, as we've said before, it is smelling really, really good. Of course, today's Taiwanese dish is inspired by the beautiful port city of Kaohsiung. It's famous for its many skyscrapers, such as the iconic 248-metre-tall Tuntek Sky Tower, which is famously prong-shaped, of course.
The city is also known for its many parks and green spaces, particularly running alongside the Love River. Now, got to make sure you take the time to go on an eco-friendly cruise boat, which has commentary in English, so you can learn more about the city's architecture and history. You'll also enjoy walking paths and cafes along the riverbanks. And, of course, there's some shopping options, too. They range from the high-end malls to the Liu Hei and Roy Fung night markets. And Gaosheng is also home to one of the world's most beautiful metro stations. Make sure you go underground ground to see the stunning dome of light. Look at that. Those colours are just incredible. That is the installation at Formosa Boulevard Station. Now, Gaosheng is a must-see on your tour of Taiwan. For more information, check out the website eng.taiwan.net.tw. Now it is over to Mark and Chef Paul in the Beko kitchen for some Taiwanese chicken. Right, so we're just going to finish this. So... You see all the chilies and spring onion there. Lots of fresh basil goes in. We've got a, a clay pot here, and this is how we finish the dish uh, traditionally. Traditionally, We've got some uh, black sesame oil. We've got some raw sliced onions. We're just gonna quickly fry those. And then literally, how long do we cook the onions for? Oh, basically just put it in, give it a stir, and you can add the chicken in. And then add all the chicken in. Look at that, beautiful. It's all sizzling away, it's all gonna cook. That's how we serve it. And then really carefully pop it on there. We'll bring it over. It's like in a restaurant, sizzling. I'll let you take it over. Look at that. Wow. It smells amazing. Yum. Oh, this is incredible. Oh, yes. OK, what is on the menu tomorrow, Mike? Right, tomorrow, uh, Chef Paul's back in the kitchen and we're going to do a braised beef noodle soup.